Hey guys, how's he going today? I'm going to rewire my box trailer. So there's my trailer that I'm going to rewire. Guys, um, the, the wire's a bit, oh, it's a bit old. The lights were replaced oh, a couple of years ago. It's the, the lights are fine. I'm just going to renew the wire. So should be a simple job. Um, I'll, I'll go through the steps and what's involved. So if you get a box trailer, and your wiring's tired and it needs you need to rewire it guys it's a pretty simple job there's no fuses involved now to do the job you got you need your wire of course for this job i'm just using the five core the nava trailer cable i'll put a new number plate light on as well a new flat seven pin plug guys you can use the flat you can use the round. Um, it's a question of holding them forward, flat or round, iPhone, Samsung. It's, guys, it's your personal preference. I prefer the seven pin flat um, because the fact is, if you ever get a 12 pin car or 12 pin flat, these will actually plug into a 12 pin. So I reckon these are the go, but it's your own personal choice. If you've got a round, that's fine. Okay, I'm only using the five core wire because this trailer doesn't have brakes. If you have brakes, electric brakes on your trailer, you will need the, the seven core wire. I'm gonna use garden hose as conduit. So I figured I had this garden hose laying around, not used, so I thought I'd use the garden hose. It just gives the wire a bit more protection. Okay, first things first. I've got to pull all the old wire out. The new wire pushes in. It's pretty rigid. I just simply fed it into the garden hose, pushed it through to the other end. Now I'm going to do this in two pieces. I'll give you a rough idea. Okay guys, just to give you an understanding here, the wiring there's your trailer, okay. There's the plug up here. Pretty much the wiring is gonna be just going through the chassis, up one side of the trailer to one side, okay. Then I simply cut this off, another piece of wire from here across to the other side, okay, to each light. So run one cable up to this light, you can cut it off, and then this is where your join's gonna be. You join it to your light, and simply the cable is gonna continue across to the other light. For your number plate light, depends where it is. My number plate's gonna be in the center here. I can simply splice it here, or I can just run an extra cable from here, from the tail light connection to the number plate. So this one or two ways you can do it but simply that's it guys simply your wiring is simply like that okay guys there's the wiring code for your um cable now i'm only using five core cable so in the five core cable this is the seven pin plug and socket wiring diagram there's your plug so this is your trailer plug here that's your actual vehicle the bottom one this is your round so that's how you where your wires would go but see guys i'm only using a five core wire so in the five core wire you won't have the black wire and you won't have the blue wire okay so in the five core wire you simply have your yellow you have your white which is the earth you have your right hand turn okay and then that's the pin number on the plug so pin number one, so here's your trailer plug on the flat. So this is my situation. So your left indicator, your right indicator is pin four. Number seven is your tail light. It goes in number seven. Three is earth, which is the center. And number six is your brakes. That's your stop light. And that is it guys, you do not use number five and you do not use number two. So you only have five connections in that plug 
with the five core wire guys. And that's all I'm covering in this because that's what mine involves. Okay guys, I threaded the cable through the garden hose. So this is the first stage. This is gonna go from the plug to the, to the light on this side of the trailer. And then simply I'll connect another piece of cable from this light to go to the other light. So this is only one side of the trailer. Okay, so I'm gonna thread this through. leave myself enough at the front of the trailer and just enough to plug into the vehicle okay that is the front simply, simply guys I'll cable tie the hose up there you don't have to use the hose if you don't want to, guys, it's just going to make it last longer. It's a good idea to put it on though. Um, let's put another hole on here for the cable tie. So from here, another piece of garden hose. So I'll, I'll cut this off here so I can connect the light plus another cable. Okay guys, I'm just preparing for my number plate light. That's my number plate light. That will go there. So I put a hole in the bracket. This will get screwed up there number plate will be there on the hole I put in I'm just going to put a grommet in just so you don't get the chafing of the wire if you don't have these grommets guys use a bit of silicon um, or put a heap of you can put a heap of electrical tape around the wire a lot put a lot around just to give it some padding so it doesn't rub through silicon will work or you can just use a grommet then your wires will go through okay and and then we can mount the light there okay guys there's the number plate light so before I screw that up I will wire that in okay guys I put my cable through the hose now halfway I've just done the um, I've done it halfway. I've done that so I can wire that number plate light in. Okay, what I'll do now. Check there's enough wire. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing this up here because it's a lot easier. Just got to cut the protective. stuff off the wire splicing in now for the number plate light so guys can do if, if you don't want to do this from the brown wire and from the white wire run two wires through for your number plate light so there's the wires there we need to splice into the the earth wire and we need to splice into the brown wire this is the connect into the number plate light do that there you go, that's one. And we'll do the second one. Okay, there's two. Okay, put your soldering line under the wire. Put your solder on top of the wire. And it'll just melt through, guys. Once it melts through, that is a pretty good, reliable connection, guys. Tape it up now with insulation tape. Okay guys, now for that, I'll put the other piece of hose on the other end, and then we're gonna just tape it all up.
There's an unplate light. And that's it there. Screw it on there. That's an unplate. Hey guys, if you're ever not sure, you can get a nine volt battery. And for argument's sake, I'll connect so earth on the minus. Okay, let's do the indicator, which is the green. Now you'll see that, I hope that comes up on the camera. But you can see the lights working off nine volt. It's not very bright because it's nine volt, but it does work. So there's a bit of a tip for you to check your wires to make sure that they work. So there is the um, indicator. Now the tail light is the brown wire on these lights. There's the tail light and there's the red wire and there's the stop light. So there you go guys, you can test it on a nine volt battery if you're not sure. I'll connect these all up. So guys, now we're on the right hand side of the trailer. Now, you do not connect the yellow wire to this light, okay? So we are on the right hand side, so this is the right hand indicator, which is the green wire. So your greens are gonna go together with this green wire, well, so I'd like to point out, on this side of the trailer, we are connecting the two yellow wires together, but they're not getting connected to the light. Okay, I just wanna point that out. So what we do, we strip all the wires back. A lot of stripping here, guys, just to strip wires. It's a fair bit involved. Okay, guys, this is the trailer cable, and that's the lights. Okay, as I said, We're on the right hand side. We simply join just the two yellow wires together. That is so the current goes through to the left hand side of the trailer. Okay. Now we join, this is the stop light wire. So we grab our two cables, we grab our light. Okay. And we twist them together. Okay, our green is the right indicator so that is going to get joined in to the right indicator so three wires so we join them together now our earth wires so should be three of them so there's the earth there's the white okay the indicator is done the right indicator done the left is done there's only two wires it goes through to the left hand side your brakes are done now the tail lights should be three wires left three brown wires here we go and there's the tail lights now if you're not sure make sure your wires aren't touching each other okay well, especially the earth um, Okay, there's your earth. Let's do the brown. The tail light should work. And also the number plate light, which works. Yes. I'll solder these up now. Okay, guys, we'll start with the yellow wire. Soldering iron underneath. Heat your wire up. And you run your solder along the wire. It should just melt on the wire. You have to get your wire hot, guys, to for the solder to melt into the wire. Okay, you can see that there. That solder is melting on the wire. Okay, I'll go along, I'll do the rest. Soldered all the wires on the right hand side of the trailer. So now, we will tape up all our joins so they don't short out. I don't have any heat shrink, you can use heat shrink if you got it. I don't have any. But 
Insulation tape works well if you got it. Make sure you put plenty of tape on. Be better off soldering, guys. Um, if you just twist the wires together, you're gonna have problems later. Bad connections. Um, if you solder them, they'll be they'll stay good for a long time. Okay. There's our connection, guys. Okay. Got the earth, right indicator, left indicator, which is not connected to this indicator. And we got the brakes, the red. I'm just gonna put a bit of this split tubing around this. Okay, guys. So that leaves me now, guys, the left-hand side. Okay, guys, she's all... You all securely tied in. So there's me wire, it's going nowhere. Got split tubing on that. That's it. Okay, guys, there's the left indicator connected to the 9 volt battery with the earth. So I've got the earth and the left indicator, which is the yellow wire. Now the left indicator should be lit. And there it is there guys. This only works if they're LED by the way. I don't think they work if they're the old the old fashion style globes. But the LEDs, nine volt battery will run them. Now we're coming up to putting on the plug. Okay. Um, the flat plug, okay. You're taking this off. So that goes onto your cable. And that goes onto your cable. Okay, we take the top off. And then there's a bit of a clamp here. We take this one off as well. Okay. So pretty much, guys, we're using the top two. The very middle, that's the earth, and the bottom two. That's the right indicator, the tail light. The top one is the left indicator and the brakes. So left indicator, brake, earth, tail, and right indicator. You just get a, a sizing. Okay, you cut your cable back. Right. So what we do, put that screw on thing on first. Then guys, slide on your grommety thing. Okay, you just check you got enough cable to reach. You see these little pins here? They do up with a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay. So you need a pretty small screwdriver. You loosen your, your connections. So pretty much on the plug, guys, it's written. Okay. Okay, once you've got all your wires stripped back, get your yellow wire, guys. Put it in the top connection. Okay, tighten the screw up. Next connection is the red wire. It is the brake. We get our red wire. And we tighten the screw up. Now your next one is your earth wire. That goes the center. Okay, your tail light, your brown wire goes into pin number seven. Tighten that up. Okay guys, leaves now the green wire, which is the right indicator. So guys, when they're all screwed in, it should look similar to this. We put this part on. This holds the um, cables in. That just holds your wires. Okay. Put the top of the plug on. Now we screw the, the top on. I'll go hook this up to the car now. 
and test that it all works. That's pretty much it. I'll, I'll put some split tubing around this to strengthen this all up and tape it all up. That way it's pretty solid guys. Have on the... Now I'll get a bit of split tubing. Chuck that on. Okay. And I'll get some tape. Now and tape it all up. So yeah guys, that's it. That's all all the um cable in, the lights are on. So now all that's left for me to do, I'll go out of the car, plug them in, check they all work. And the number plate light works. So yeah guys, that is it. But yeah, it's a simple job you can do. You can save yourself some money doing it. It's pretty simple, um, guys. Anyway, I hope this helped you out somehow, guys. Please um, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you like it. Hey okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the, um, the trailer all finished, all done. Pretty much I did this video to help the unsuspecting person out if they ever buy a trailer you need to put wire in it you can save yourself some money by doing it yourself all right guys thanks for watching and cheers eh? and take care